Have you ever wanted to make a reel with a video that was just too long? Well, let me show you how to speed things up with a time lapse. Welcome to day 22 of content repurposing tutorials, where I'm sharing with you all 30 days worth of time saving content ideas for all of you busy creators out there. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a time lapse inside of Instagram and CapCut. Hopefully you already have a video in mind because we're going to head straight into Instagram. Once we're in Instagram, we're going to go ahead and press that plus button and we're going to go down to the video that we have in mind. I'm going to choose this video right here and press next. And then we see we have a 90 second video and we want to go ahead and make that much, much shorter. So what we can do is press speed right here. Once we're in there, we see we can slow it down or we can speed it up. So one, two, three, or four, we're going to go for the max and do four times. Now we set that 90 second video and we turn it into 22 seconds. You can also trim some of it as well. So you can trim it if you want to, to make it lower. But what we're trying to do is just make the video actually faster. Another thing you can do if this is not quite fast enough for you for Instagram is you can fully extend it once more, but then also you can press next. And what we can do is we can download this video. Once it's downloaded, we can go back to Reels and upload the one we just downloaded that was sped up. Press next and we can speed this up again to make it even faster. So I'll press four times again. And now we see we have that. If that's too fast for you, you can go down to maybe two times and just speed up the four times video two times faster, right? And you can press next. Now from here, you can go ahead and put any text. You can do a voiceover, you can add music, but you have your time lapse with a video that is essentially faster. So if I were to further customize this, I'd go ahead and press music. We find a nice sound that we can use. I'm just gonna choose this here, press done. I'll add some text. Let's give that a listen. After you're happy with your edit, you can feel free to go ahead and press next and you can go ahead and add your caption. You can draft it or post it straight away. The second way I'm going to show you to do this is right inside of CapCut. So we can go ahead and start a new project, find a video that we want to speed up. I'll use this one here, add. And what we're going to do here is press on the video. We're going to go to speed. And we have different things that we can do here. We can either do the normal speed and just speed it up as much as we want, or you can do a curved speed. So this one has where you can go fast and slow or slow, fast, fast, or you can customize it. Inside of CapCut, there are different ways that you can speed up your video. We're gonna do it the normal way today. I'm gonna go normal, and I have a video that's about one minute and 49 seconds. If I go all the way to 100 times, it will make it two seconds. We don't need it that fast, but you can see here how long it will make the video as I scale back, see 14 seconds, 15 seconds here, but we can see how long we want the video to actually be. So let's just say I want the video to be about 10 seconds so I can speed that up. That's what I really enjoy about this program. You can kind of customize as you need to go a little bit faster. All right, we got about seven seconds here. We can press the plus button and now let's see what it looks like. All right, so if this is too choppy for you, what you can do, the choppiness is just the fact that it's not a smooth one, it's a little choppy. We can press the normal again. We can uh, put it back to its normal speed. And what we can do is we can cut down some of the video. So I'm gonna take about 30 seconds of this video here. And I'm going to split it with the split button and then press delete for the second half. And for this 30 seconds, I'm gonna speed this up until it's about seven seconds. Again, seven, eight seconds. All right, press the arrow, press a check mark. And we can see this is a lot smoother because it had less information to speed up or chop out so that we can have this video in seven seconds. Once you're happy with that, there are a ton of other things that you can do inside of CapCut to further customize this. But if you just wanted a longer video sped up inside of CapCut, that'd be a great way to do it. And you would just export and take the same moves that you did when we were just in Instagram a little bit earlier. Other ways that you can continue to customize videos like this is, of course, adding music. You can add text. You can even add a voiceover. And in this series, I go over a ton of different ideas that you can incorporate for videos such as this. So what we did in today's lesson was we took a longer video from our phone and we put it inside of Instagram and CapCut 
CapCut to use the speeding up feature to turn it into a time lapse that we can share on our social platforms with music or with a voiceover. Be sure to grab the content calendar and journal in the description below so that you can take notes on your favorite content ideas from this series.